Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Edmon Mindaros and for today's a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the sound that the LL is missing or not found error in Windows computer. So the problem usually occurs when some applications utilizing direct sound which is part of the Microsoft DirectX cannot find the necessary the sound that the LL file. So this error commonly appears at the time of running any game or multimedia applications that requires extensive audio processing. You may also encounter this error when their system has an outdated or corrupt installations of DirectX. The missing the sound DLL issue can also arise due to malware related problems, faulty system configurations, and accidental removal of relevant files and then i'll show you on how to fix it and without further ado and let's go ahead so the first solutions we will do is to update the audio drivers so all you have to do is to right click on the start menu and then you need to select this device manager and then once you open up here at device manager and then you need now to select this sound video and game controller so click this arrow to expand and then you need to right click on listed audio device and update all right so we have here this audio and this smart sound technology and the real tech so we need to update so on how to update so select and then right click and then tap update driver and updating driver so we have two options like search automatically for drivers or browse my computer then we need to tap this search automatically and the best drivers for your device are already installed and save the other one audio driver so select and then right click and then tap update a driver and then you need to tap this search automatically all right so the best drivers for your device are already installed and the last one that we need to modify and then we need to close this is the audio reality so select and then right click and then tap update a driver and then tap this search automatically all right so the best drivers for your device are already installed and then once you're done here at device manager and then we need to close and the other solutions that we're going to do is to scan for malware so all you have to do is to select or click on search menu and then here we need to type this windows security and then you need to click open and then once you open up here at Windows Security, and then you need now to tap or click this virus and threat protections and then click. And then once you open up, and then you need now to select this scan options and then click. So here now at scan options, so we have here that we need to choose or we need to do like quick scan, poly scan, customized scan. And the last one, this is the Microsoft Defender offline scan. So all you have to do is to select this Microsoft Defender offline scan and then you need to tap or click this scan now. So this will restart your device and will take about 15 minutes. Then we need to complete about this offline scan and then after that and then we need to close. If the error is still persists and the next solutions that we're going to do is to repair system files with SFC and the same command. So all you have to do is to click again on a search menu and then you need to type this cmd or this is the command prompt and then you need to click this run as administrator if you receive user account control and then click yes and then once you open up here at administrator command prompt and then next step then you need to type and enter this command keyword sfc space slash scan now so slash scan now that is one word and then press enter and beginning system scan this process will take some time beginning verification space of system scan then we need to wait to complete the verifications into 100 percent so this command sfc scan now that's why we will do because this is the command used in windows to run the system file checker sfc tool which scan all protected system files on your computer and replaces any corrupted or incorrect versions with the correct Microsoft versions. Then we need to wait to complete the verifications. And verifications 100% complete. 
and then next command keyword that we need to type and enter so just copy and type this command keyword this same space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health so use keyboard shortcut control plus c to copy this command and the next step then we need to paste in here control plus b and then press enter and deployment image servicing and management tool so here we need to wait again to complete the verifications into 100%. And the restore operations completed successfully. And then we need to close this CMD. Alright, so that's it guys. And thanks for watching. And hopefully this video was helpful to restore Windows error on your PC. And give it a thumbs up and share it with others who are having problems with Windows. And if you're new to our channel, I invite you to subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on the latest for Windows Guide tutorials. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorials.